two doors. That sounds like a courtroom. Well, time to make my presence known. Let's get this over with. Can we please have lights on? What are we in the 90s? Ah, not too bright. Jeez. Take a seat, Doctor. I hope you find it interesting. Oh, I will. Whoever, whoever you are. <sighs> so, who are you supposed to be? The Grim Reaper? Not entirely. The prosecutor of this court. The prosecutor of this court, huh? Well, that's a big commitment you got there. How much are they paying you? Fifty grand a year? You'll be pleased to know where you are. Where am I then? You're on Gallifrey, Doctor. This is the courtroom. No. That means... The High Council of Gallifrey. Well, since our problem with Omega, I thought you'd leave me alone by now. Hardly. We can't leave you alone once you've acted upon your actions. What are you talking about? I've been here before. I know I have. And yet, the events within that particular event were distorted by a mysterious figure who claimed he was the Doctor. Of course, I obviously believed it, because it was true, because the Master told me. So, tell me, what have I done here then? Ah, my lady, will you please imply to what I've been Committed for? Breaking the first rule of time travel. Never creating a portal, and never creating the universe within once it's been destroyed. Oh, but come on! The whole universe was dead! What else could I do? I couldn't just stand there. I had to create some portal, some way of bringing it back to life. And yet, you stand here, Doctor, in your chair of deceit. And yet you stand here. Claiming you've done good, when really, you've done bad. Can you define the word bad, please? Because I'm sitting here and I'm getting really bored and you're just standing there talking. Except I don't understand anything. What I don't understand is, why am I being prosecuted for something that was good? Why don't, why don't you prosecute me for something that was bad? Why are you claiming creating a portal to save the universe is bad? The Pandorica was the portal. I used that to go back in time, to reverse time itself, so the event wouldn't happen. Well, technically it would still happen, but the event would still end. So then, the events would still be in reverse. So what you mean, Doctor, is you created an ontological paradox. Yes, I did, and I'm proud of it. If I hadn't, if I hadn't saved the universe when I did, then the whole universe would be would be destroyed by now. None of you would ever exist again. You're lucky that I saved you from the time war. And yet, well, technically I didn't save you, did I? I put you in a, a pocket universe. And yet I forgot about that, didn't I? Because my ninth, my ninth regeneration was old and weak. And had to forget. So, since beyond that point, I just believed I destroyed you all. Well, just maybe I thought it wouldn't hurt anymore. But it still does. The war still technically goes on with you lot, doesn't it? The war's never really over when you're still around. The war's never really over. So, what happens to me? You will be prosecuted, and you will be charged with murder. Murder? What are you talking about? I haven't killed anyone. The Autons. That was murder, Doctor. You know it. Doomsday. That was murder. You know it. None of those events were murders. None of them. Alright, I admit it. I had done some terrible things. But I never, ever killed them. I would never do that. Never. I would never do that. 
So here you are, standing here tall and mighty, calling me a liar. Well, you better be ready because this is going to be some party, isn't it? Bring out the candles, bring out the birthday parades, because we're going to have a party. I hope you got Shandy, because I'm well, in, I'm well enough well enough to drink a drink right now. Sorry, my lady. I had to get that out. Good doctor. Can we continue? Yes, my lady. Bring it on. Grim Reaper. Bring it on. It looks like I'm going to be here all day then. Well, better get ready, better get started, because the party's already begun. I hope you brought your candles. I hope you brought your birthday cards. I hope you brought a say. I hope you brought a big cake for me to eat. I hope there's crisps, because I've got all the time in the universe. So, what are we gonna do then? Well, you might as well show the edited highlights. I mean, isn't that why we're all here to see the evidence that the Valiard has compiled with lies? You do realise all his evidence are lies, by the way. I've helped people across the universe. I help people, and I'll never ever stop. You people put me on trial, and for what? Helping? This is absurd. I help everyone every day, because I have responsibility. Because I have, because I have responsibility to look after the universe, to protect it from evil such as the Valiard. Sit down, Doctor. I'm sorry, Inquisitor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You might as well show the highlights then. Go on, show the highlights. Hello. It's me, Sharon. I'm back. Hello. I'm the Doctor. You're the Doctor. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Well, you better come in then. Well, what's wrong? Nothing, it's just... You're the person I talked to on the phone when those aliens arrived. Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. You're the one that hacked into those unit coordinates. Yeah, so you're a hacker then, Sharon? Yeah. I do computers. Ah, cool. I, I knew a person who could do computers once. A very good friend of mine. What happened to her? Oh, she went home. She's fine. She's got her own business, you know. Pretty cool. But tell me about you, though. How's, how's your life been? You know, fine. How about you, Doctor? Oh, I've been travelling with a bunch of friends. You know. Yeah, good times. Anyway, um... I was wondering, uh... You know, you've never seen the TARDIS before. Yes. Yes what? I want to come with you. To travel through time and space. Well... Okay then. TARDIS it is then. Wow, it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Yep. And that's not the cool part. This is. Hold on. Where are we? This? This is New Earth. Or at least it was. But it's New Earth. Look at the grass. See? Smell the grass. Strawberry grass. Yep. Yep. Strawberry grass. Yep. Can I just say, this is cool. I know. Come on! Oh, this place is massive! It's like a mansion! Yeah, it is like a mansion, isn't it? 
Afternoon. Oh, hello. Um, I'm the doctor, and this is Sharon. We're uh, we're just passing by, passing through, as it were. Oh, well, you must be the new guests. Uh, yes, that'll be us. That'll be. Yes, the new. Yes, the new. Uh, yes, the uh, the guests. That's us. Right this way, then, sir. Shall we? Shall we dance? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm the doctor. Is that your occupation? No, that's my name. I'm called the doctor. And this is Sharon. She's a computer expert. Ah, awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. So tell me, who built this awesome facility or mansion? Many years ago, a very famous person. Yeah, I know where this is going. Famous person, I know where this is going. Did the guy invent trains by any chance? Yes, how did you know? I study history. Yeah. Well, it's nice meeting you two. Bye. <laughs> what was that? Gunfire. Something's wrong. What are you doing? We have to find out what it is and what's wrong. But. But isn't that the police's job? Not this time. This time it's our job. It's my responsibility to help people. Okay then. What are we waiting for? Let's go save the world. Everyone, don't panic. I'm the doctor. Please tell me, sir. Who shot you? Who were... The, the cats. The cats? Where's the cats? Where's the cats now? The cats. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. What are you all doing here? You're supposed to be the guests. This man is dead. He mentioned cats. Why? Your cats? Surely you oversee everything in this facility. Don't you notice when there's a dead body right in front of you? Calm down, sir. Don't tell me to be calm when someone has just died. I'm the doctor. And let me tell you something. There's no higher authority than me in this moment in time. Right here, right now. I just wanted to show my new best friend something awesome, something called cool, a new awesome planet. But no, someone's just died. So don't tell me to be calm. You are obviously stressed, sir. Yes, I am very stressed right now. But the fact is, a person, nearly a person right here, right now, has seemingly, unfortunately, and angrily died. So don't tell me to be calm. We better go. It's the cats. They're hiding something. What are we gonna do? We're gonna find out why. You know if I borrow this? What is it? Sonic screwdriver. Come on, let's inspect. Do you the cats gonna find out about this? No. <sighs> So I've met these cats before. I hate these damn doors. Why are they always have them lock sealed? Don't you find that annoying they have them like lock sealed for no reason? Yeah, I mean it is just a door. Couldn't you just like kick the door down? I can't just kick the door down. What if what if I break my leg? Come on. It's just a door. Just kick it. Kick 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 the door down. Fine. Okay. Okay, fine. Get back. <laughs> Intruders. Intruder alert. Oh. Sorry. I broke the door. Uh, why do they have claws? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because they're cats. We're surrounded. I've got this. What's that screwdriver going to do? 
I don't know. I am the doctor. I'm a time lord. Get back! Get back, I say! You killed that person. Why? He was too rich. Just because someone's too rich doesn't mean you have to kill them. How would you know? We did what we could to save the other people. I know 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 times are hard. Times are tough right now. That doesn't mean you can kill people. You can't prosecute us, Doctor. You're right. I can't. But I know who can. I am calling to the Shadow Proclamation. The cats of New Earth have committed a crime of murder. Who are they? The Shadow Proclamation. And then, over there, those rhinos. They're not rhinos. They're the police. Space police. Yep. They're the Jadoon. They'll take care of this. What do we do? What do we do? We get back to the TARDIS. I can't believe someone died. It's my fault. I could have done something. It's not your fault, Doctor. Right, so, where do you want to go next? How about anywhere? Anywhere? Sounds good. <laughs>